I'm Steven Spencer, brother Steven Spencer from uh, California in the United States. Um, I joined the Oblates because there's a there's a very much of a family spirit about the Oblates, um, and I and I sense that both in the United States and also being here in Brazil, uh, just a, a welcoming spirit, a, a real spirit of family throughout the world. A very very good experience for me. I joined the Oblates obviously because I, I felt the, the calling from God to be an Oblate of St. Joseph, um, but also specifically to the Oblates for their, their work with youth and for their, their family spirit. Uh, beyond that, as a, as, a, as a youth, I think in, in these days, it's important, uh, myself as a youth, it's important to, to be supported in, in faith, uh, to be able to grow in faith along with the priests and the brothers and, and the religious together uh, as, as one church, um, not, not separated as, as the young people against the old people, um, older people. <laughs> um, so it, it's important for me as I, as I am working as an oblate uh, to, to realize the importance of working with youth uh, and, and for youth and, and engaging them directly, uh, reaching to them directly. Um, not, not seeing them as a problem, but, but seeing them as, as people that, that, that need Jesus, just like I need Jesus as a, as a young person. Um, those two things for me are, are very important, uh, to, be, to be with the youth and to realize that, that what, what I bring is not, not myself, but Jesus for the youth, so that they can have lives that are full of joy and, and happiness and fulfillment. How, uh, how, how old are you? I am 23 years old now. Yes. Yes, I, I come from a very Catholic family. Um, we grew up and, and I went to school, yes, but even more important than school was our, our Catholic faith. Um, my parents did a very good job raising us. I have altogether 11 brothers and sisters in total, seven brothers, four sisters, uh, all Catholic. Uh, just a, a joyful experience of, of family and uh, and very very Catholic family yes okay thank you okay in English okay about the youth about the youth the question yes yes okay you and so my name is Father John Shear and I'm from the United States province of the Oblates of St. Joseph the Holy Spouses province and one of our main ministries, as you know already about the Oblates, is to work with youth. And it's a great joy for me just to see our young people, um, bringing them closer to Jesus, seeing how involved they are in our churches and how beautiful it is when they get to uh, meet our Lord and really um, begin to experience the presence of, of, of Christ in their lives. And as an Oblate of St. Joseph, that's something very special to me personally to be able to help them know God and know Christ. So I'm really grateful for this gift of uh, my vocation of being a priest in the Oblates of St. Joseph. Your family is Catholic? Yeah, um, I come from a, a Catholic family. My parents were converts. They converted to the faith uh, before I was born. And then after I was born, I was, of course, baptized as a Catholic as a baby. And then from that time on, uh, we grew up in the church, participated in different groups. Um, of course, classes for uh, catechism, First Communion, Confirmation. Um, and then when my family moved to the area around the city called Madeira, I went to a small chapel called St. Anne's where we had um, a very small community, tight-knit community uh, with strong Catholic family values. I have um, a brother and two sisters as well. So. Okay. Sorry, I'm going to get Yes, I'm, in, I'm enjoying Brazil a lot. It's very beautiful here. Yes, I'm, in, I'm enjoying staying here in uh, Sao Paulo. It's, a, it's very beautiful, but uh, we, we have seen some parts, you know, that, are, uh, that have a lot of poverty. And, um, you know, that's a really humbling and eye-opening experience for all of us. Um, we're here. Why are we here? Uh, 
mission? Mission? Um, our mission is just to, you know, uh, spread the word and the love of God um, with the people of Brazil and, uh, you know, to, to try to help people in any way that we can um, and just to represent our country um, and our religion here in Brazil. Yeah, there, there, there's a lot of Catholics, and there's a lot of uh, Christians in uh, the United States. How is it to be Catholic in USA? Um, a lot of times we're discriminated against or, you know, just made to seem old-fashioned almost. But, um, you know, we, we are really strong in our faith there as well. And um, we're trying to spread that with our youth. And that's why, really why we're here for, for World Youth Day, so that way we can take back what we learned here in Brazil to the United States and, and help our religion to, to better itself. And these days to be a Christian, um, I, I think it's tough and I think we have a lot of challenges, um, but you know, I think that, um, you know, that's, that's what being Catholic is about. You know, you're gonna, oh, well, to overcome challenges uh, with God's help. And um, yeah, so that's what I think. Oh, you're welcome. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Just a minute. Uh, hi, I'm Katie Rose. Or no, wait. Okay. Can I go? Good. Yes. Okay. Um, hi, I'm Katie Rose, and I'm from California, and I'm here at World Youth Day because I think, as as Catholics, we tend to internalize. And I think it's really great when um, everyone, especially the youth, go out and we are like loud and sing and um, really joyful with our love of Jesus. And it's amazing to be in Brazil and to be with you know people from all over the world, millions of youth from all over the world. I think he's great. I think everyone's so happy with him. You know, um, he's he's. He's very humble, I think, and he's a holy person. And I love St. Francis, so I was very happy that he chose the name Francis. <laughs> yeah. My name? Francis? Yeah. Oh, oh I, um, I love St. Francis, and so I was very happy when the Pope chose his name to be Francis, because he's a great... <laughs> That's all. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wait, wait. <laughs> okay. Go. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Hi, uh, my name is Luis Miguel from California. Uh, I'm here at the World Youth Day um, to to get to know more youth around the world and to see how they interact and how we both all share the love of God uh, in the same way. And from where from where I come from, uh, I like to be involved with other youth and to see their own stories um, and to help other people as well. And so this is a good experience um, for me to see see more people just like me and to all share the, the same faith around the world. Yeah, uh, Padre, please. Uh, what is the difference uh, between being Catholic in India and uh, yeah. the other uh, country religion? places? Yeah. Uh, India is a very versatile country, especially about the religion. Only 2% of the total population of India. Bonjia, Brazil. Bonjia. The answer, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, the very uniqueness of being a Catholic in India. Because India is a land of different religions. 
India has the major religion, the Hinduism, the world famous religion. And you know, the Catholics in India is a minority because there are only two percentage of the uh, total uh, religious population is Catholics. So it is definitely very difficult to be a Christian because a Catholic because it asks from you a real life of witnessing Christ anywhere you are. I come from a state in India called Kerala which is maybe definitely can be called as a Catholic state where we have so many Catholics. So, but we are living among the Muslims, Hindus, Jains, Buddhists, etc. So it is very uh, important that we live a life of witnessing to the values of Christ, love, peace, forgiveness, joy and understanding. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, in India, people basically believe in love and relationship. So it's a great challenge for us to be Christians or to be Catholics because it asks from you a lot of love, forgiveness and understanding towards people. So our life has to be always in conformity with the life of Christ who lived the life of love. So it's very important and very unique and it's very difficult also to be a true Catholic in the sense to be in India. Because even in India we have so many Christians but we are divided into Catholics and Protestants. So that problem also is there. So it's a challenge to be a true and authentic Catholic in our country. Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Vamos lá então. Hi, bom dia. Hi, bom dia. Namaste. Good morning. Uh, I am very happy to be in Brazil with this for this youth uh, program of Oblates of Saint Joseph. So we we have come here to enjoy the days here and we are we got many friends from different parts of India and we are very much uh, we are very happy that we 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 got many friends here and um, uh, we feel that this is our our country and uh, the people in Brazil are very very happy very joyful and very receptive so um, we thank you thank you very much for this uh, for this youth gathering and for this um, youth uh, youth um, uh, program, so uh, I love Brazil. I love Brazilians. I love to be here, and thank you, thank you very much. Obrigado a todos. Yeah. What are you doing here? Uh, <coughs> here, uh, I represent my con uh, my province, Indian province. I, along with Father Baiju, uh, I represent uh, the Indian province uh, for this youth, youth program, youth uh, gathering, uh, the international youth gathering. So um, <clears throat> we attend many meetings, many uh, travels, etc. So um, we we enjoy here, especially. Uh, we we know something about Brazil now, uh, and we we have heard many things about Brazil. It's especially about uh, football, then about samba, and about carnival, etc. But now we have a clear picture about Brazilians. <coughs> yeah. Uh, are you priest? Yeah. Since since uh, last last April tenth. April tenth. Yeah. Ten, ah, okay. yeah. Uh, and, uh, I'm a new priest. How many priests are in India? Uh, uh, Bluffers. Uh, 
68. Yeah, around 68 priests. Around 68 priests. Along, um, along with me, there are uh, four priests. Along with me, there are four priests. And we do many activities there, especially youth. Um, we we give, give some, some kind of formation to the youth. Then we have some boys' homes. Uh, then we have some schools. Uh, then we have some parish ministry also. Okay. Yeah. How many in, in India? How many priests? Huh? In India, many oblato. Sixty-eight priests are there. We have completed twenty-seven years in in India as oblates. Oblates congregation has completed twenty-seven years. Twenty-seven. Seven years in India. So we have uh, enough priests and also seminarians uh, and uh, professed and perpetually professed and uh, seminarians, minor seminarians. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. You? Yeah. <coughs> uh, Hola, soy... ¿Sí? <laughs> okay. Hola, soy Sandra. I'm from California, United States. I'm Sandra from California, United States. The reason I'm Catholic is number one because my parents baptized me Catholic, but more than that is because I love God. Adore a Dios. And the reason I'm here is to listen to God's message, um, to listen to Papa Francisco and bring the message to my hometown. And that's why I'm here in, in this pilgrimage. Oh yes, he he spoke to me the first day um, when the the father was talking. You know that that I am a disciple of God um, in the communion, receiving him. He speaks to me um, with other Brazilian people. He speaks to me, and he's definitely has spoken to me so far. Thank you. <laughs>